I know that this is gonna be a hard road uh, to navigate and I have not started therapy. My brother and I frequently spoke about like his experience with therapy and no joke, one of his therapists that he tried to go to, you know, you have to vibe with them, you have to connect with them, you have to feel like they're actually invested in your well being as opposed to just getting paid. And they, it's rare, I'm sure, but they're out there and it just takes work to find them. Um, my brother, I was gonna say, my brother's one experience, you know, semi recently was one that dozed off on him. Literally, she was dozing off on him while he was talking about his issues. Wow, wow. My blood boils, just thinking about it. And I think that's maybe made me a little bit standoffish with therapy because I've never been to therapy. A, there's obviously nothing wrong with therapy. Um, I just have never gone. Do I have reasons? Like, should I have gone a long time ago? Definitely. It's not that I'm afraid to go. It's not that I don't have a phobia of going. Um, is I just keep thinking to myself, and I think I spoke to Casey about this, Casey Fry, but like, is it really going to help me? I called my insurance um, a month ago and they gave me three referrals. I called one, she says she doesn't accept my insurance. I called the second one, she says she's completely booked, not accepting new patients. And the third one just kept ringing and ringing and ringing. I don't know, I, I don't even know how to like vocalize what I'm trying to say or how I'm feeling. That's another thing. Um, I just have really bad moments and then it just my I talked to my dad for a while this morning and it, he's like it just comes in waves like you could just feel like shit out of nowhere and the other day I had a complete breakdown at the gym I've been going to the gym really frequently which normally I don't because I feel closer to Billy that way but sometimes I'm there and I'm just everything reminds me of him some of the boys that are in there remind me of him and I don't know I feel like I'm living in an alternate reality like I don't I I feel like Billy's gonna come home and he's just on vacation I really feel like Billy's just went to El Salvador he loved El Salvador went to El Salvador he's gone for a couple months and I'm and dad and I are and we're gonna see him come through the door going I called today I'm, I called reached out to my insurance again and I let them know the situation that you know what happened with the three referrals and they told me they're gonna call me with like you know they're a therapist and the next appointment whatever to confirm so I'm gonna see if it you know if it help if I feel better if it helps I just don't have I don't have the I don't have the energy to go on like a therapist goose chase you know what I mean I I don't have the mental capacity to do that right now because of what my family and I just went through, everything seems so trivial to me. Billy passing away has put so much into perspective for me and I just live my life differently now. It's only been two months, so it's still so fresh. But yeah, my dad and I were just like, you know, people complain about like their Amazon package not coming on time. Their gas is up a couple cents. It's like, really, really? I can't, I can't, I can't. Like I, I've sh not, I haven't shut people out, but I've definitely just like distanced myself from people because can't relate, can't relate. Things that used to annoy me or bother me don't anymore because it doesn't matter. Uh, it's crazy. I'm just venting, I'm just, I'm just rambling a strict routine has been really helpful for me so maxi makes us smoothies every single morning and the one they keep puts in our smoothie uh, is at costco so i'm gonna go get that right now i don't know 
if you guys noticed this, but go ahead and check out the name of the channel. I was gonna do like a little announcement video saying why we changed it, what like what's behind that, you know, what's going on with Men and Jane. Am I not gonna do that anymore? It just makes the most sense, especially right now. Um, and us being planted, it just it makes the most sense. So it's officially Maxi and Jane. Sometimes it's gonna be just me. Sometimes it's gonna be Maxi. Sometimes it's gonna be both of us. And that's the beauty of it. A look inside just our personal life. I have to go because Maxie's running late for an appointment. I have to go meet him at the appointment with clothes. He was riding for too long. But I, when Maxie gets in the car, I will come on back. This place gets so dirty with these three dogs. Maxie just got home. Show them. She's right there. Ready? Oh. Got her. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, mama! Look at her. Get him on! in their pool. <laughs> Girl! How many of these balls are going to end up in our neighbor's yards? Comment below. Alright, I'd say it was a good purchase. It was under 20 bucks. Oh, it's definitely Dollars. Look at her. She's oh, like I was thinking we can lay a tarp down in the house, put a couple of those air filter, like air purifiers in there. You could do this. <gasps> oh, I saw an air purifier. Purfer. Purfer. I'm sorry, air purifier. I saw an air purifier on Facebook Marketplace. It was new, the Remy. Yeah. And it was $50. Say hello to my. Oh, it was so close. The dinner is burritos. I gotta post that viral video. You got a new bike already, right? Yeah, I was like, are you ready for the heat? And he said, yeah, bro. If you I guys, like, can I post on TikTok? He's like, yeah, for sure. Like, if you guys haven't seen, because by the time this is posted, it'll already be posted. If you haven't seen the video he's talking about, it's on Real Mad Max. Oh no, um, Maxie's Daily Madness and Facebook. Mm, these are good. Okay, Maxie's calling the property. Hello, I am uh, interested in the property on 245 up towards Mountain House, and I was curious if that's still for sale. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, what is the, uh, what's the asking price on that? $135,000. And so that has a house, that has like a foundation, correct? No, no, no. I was just got a pad. Built the approach on the road down there, uh, which is kind of sequestered down in there. Uh, the problem 
property is two pieces of property. They're contiguous, of course. Uh, it's a, about a four and a half piece and about a three and a half piece. So a person could always possibly sell half of it at some point, you know. Yeah. And um, so the the flat area where you have, where the mat is or whatever you said, is that level? Yes. Yes, I cut a pad for the, for, so a person could put a house there if they wanted to, you know. And then is there power, access to power? Yes, there's a power pole on the property. So then do I have to have an electrician come out then and install a box or something? Now the, what happens is the PG&E has to put a transformer there, you know, anytime you run power from an existing pole that doesn't have a transformer, they set a transformer and run the power to the house. And then in terms of water, is there any water access? I do not uh, have a well on the property. Uh, I own the property across the street. We bought it almost 30 years ago. And I had two wells up there on, on the top. I mean, they were both decent wells, you know. I mean, there's water, you know. It's just a matter of building a well. All right. And then how much were the wells when you got them? I mean, they were drilled a while ago, so it's probably the pricing's completely changed, huh? Yeah. It, it's the, the one, both wells were already there when I bought the property. There was no pumps on them. It was just a big... It was 37 acres, just bare property, and, and I'm a building contractor. I built both houses, along with that guest house and the main house and, and, you know, outbuildings and all that stuff. Uh, you know, normally uh, <clears throat> there's, a, there's a, a good drill, well driller in Reedley, uh, Johnson, it's Johnson Well Drilling. I think they charge they charge something like fifty seven dollars a foot for fifty feet, and then it's like twenty two fifty a foot after that, with a one hundred foot minimum. Do you have this property listed online, or is it just on the road? No, no, no I, I just listed it on there. I haven't put it with a realtor. Uh, I might do that at some point, but right now, it's, if I sell it, it'd just be cheaper. Your realtor will charge me five percent. Well, I'm very interested, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking into it, figuring out logistics of everything, and I have a fifth wheel that I'd want to just honestly, I'd drop the fifth wheel on there. Um, so. Is that bad? Uh, a fifth wheel? No, you could. Person could put a fifth wheel down in there. No. Yeah. Appreciate you taking the call. And uh, so, is it? Can I text you on this number? Or yeah, that's fine. It's a good number. Just let me know whenever you want to look at it. I'll be glad to meet you there. We'll do. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, you know your grandpa comes in a couple days. You should probably lay down if you're tired. Look at these legs, you guys, watch. Hi. <laughs> look at these arms, they look like Billy. We got YouTube TV today, and Maxie is <laughs> thriving. Uh, oh, this is a funny fucking movie, actually. What is it? I think it's called Vacation. Uh, that's fun. <laughs> She's not chugging here. She's just. Oh! <laughs> Artwork of the day. <laughs> it's a monster face. It's a <laughs> I thought it was um, Chester, the cat. Hey, what's on your eye? Is your eye bothering you? <laughs>
uh, Maxi and Dimebag to go get that bike. I don't think he wants me telling you what kind of bike it is, but they just went to McFarland, no AC in the car. <laughs> cool. I did get Freon and neither of the boys know how to put in Freon. So that might have to wait until my dad gets here tomorrow. Today is my nephew's birthday. It's Jordan year, he's turning 23. I told Maxie to get clips of, you know, picking up the bike and stuff, I guess without showing the bike. So I'll definitely include those right now. All right. Hey guys, Maxie here. And I'm going to get another motorcycle. It's my last motorcycle I'm purchasing. I am done buying motorcycles after this, unless we strike fucking gold and I can get an H2R. I'm down for an H2R still. But anyway, uh, besides that, uh, this is the last motorcycle I'm purchasing. And this is my, uh, besides the H2R, if, uh, if, we, if we strike it rich or something, I'd get that bike. Otherwise, I won't, but anyway, last bike I'm buying. And I just want to say uh, thank you, Jane, for uh, supporting me behind this purchase. I'm, uh, I'm very eager, I'm very excited. But I'm not gonna show you guys what I'm buying. It's actually an undercover bike that uh, I don't want anyone to know about. Um, I wanna be able to ride it and go to group rides and not be like Maxi, just be like Bob. So I'm gonna be Bob. This is my Bob bike. And um, yeah. Uh, that's that. I'm pretty excited. We're driving about an hour to go get it. I'm gonna ride it home. I don't know if I'm gonna add it to my insurance right now. I probably should. What do you think, Dad? Yeah. Always. Oh, it didn't cost you nothing for the last one. What? It didn't cost you anything for that last one, right? No. Ah. That pennies? Yeah. Dude, it's hot as shit in here. It's hot. We need to put, we have a can of Freon. Jane told us when we get warm to just pull this trigger and stick this in our mouth. You down. Yeah, that made me feel cold. Did, you did not spray that. That stuff's like poison, dude. And you kill the ozone. Do you really? Yeah, they're, they're, um, they're getting rid of Freon, bro. It's gonna be gone by like 2025. Really? Oh, dig! Did you see that truck? Yeah, they're they're doing away with ACs. Your uh, see, see? Did that's, he just blow his tire? Yeah, that's what he just fucking did. Look at that shit. He's bouncing, bro. He's bouncing. You got your GoPro? Yeah. Oh. You got batteries? Yeah. Check. SIM card check. Doesn't matter. I'm not doing anything with the footage. All right, bye guys. I gotta get insurance. Did he say in McDonald's parking lot, right? Behind McDonald's in the park. In the park? Oh, there it is, dude! Oh my god, dude. Do you want me not to film the bike or everything for now? Don't film the bike. Don't? You can cut it out, too. Oh my god, dude. Is it boner time, dude? Nah, you got a fatty. <laughs> you fully What's torqued. What's going on? You're fully torqued, bro. Fully torqued. Yeah. <laughs> Those ah, my knee bone, bro. Really? All right. No, a, just we you, don't need you, to record it, anymore, Okay, right? dude. That's typical. I mean, all, 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 all bikes do that. Talking about. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a motorcycle like train.
motorcycles. Uh-huh. I'm done buying motorcycles. I've heard, I've heard that quite a few times. I'm done buying motorcycles for myself personally. If I buy any mm -hmm. more, it's to buy and sell. Call, or give away. I call bullshit. The only way, the, only, the next motorcycle I'll purchase is an H2R when we're fucking filthy. Filthy. That guy hooked it the fuck up. He hooked you up? Oh my God, yeah. What did he give you or do you not want to say? Just to. I can't say. Oh. Free on my shot. What? Free on didn't work. Hey, give me a failure. It hot. Free on didn't work and it was $60. I mean, maybe we did it wrong. Oh.